again and welcome back to my channel. I'm Erika and today I'm going to talk about some books that I found in my parents' bookshelves that I really want to read. So this weekend I went through the family bookshelves and I found some books that I actually wanted to read. And I put them over here so you can maybe, you know, get a bit of a sneak peek of what I'm going to talk about during this video. Do you like this new set thing? Or did you like the first one better? Please let me know in the comments. And the first book I have actually already started reading and it is The Shadow of the Wind by Carlos Ruiz Saffron. As you can see I just got a few pages in. I started last night so I haven't gone too far. But this is a book about Barcelona during the 60s and it's about a boy that is given a book when he is a, a small kid. He's about 10 years old I think. And it turns out that his book is the only copy of the book left in the world and now there is some scary person that is trying to get the book from him and he kind of resembles the, ma the main villain in the book in quite a disturbing way so he doesn't really know what to do and there's just some drama in his family as well I think it's going to be a quite emotional book and think it's going to bring me to tears but it is absolutely stunningly written. As far as I have come, I actually, I really, really like the language. It's one of those books that you really believe that you could never write anything like it yourself. You're just, I'm just amazed by this author. And I also like that it's a lot about books. Um, the boy's family is owning a bookshop, so it's a lot about old books and how books can change people and just how lovely books are, which I am just loving. Next one is a book by Anna Givalda and it is Together You're Less Alone, I think it's called, it's called that in Swedish. And I recognise this because a group of students in my Swedish class read this last year and they had a presentation of it and I thought it sounded really interesting. I believe it's about um, a house and the people living in the house uh, and they all have quite severe problems in their lives and they are neighbours so they kind of get involved in each other's problems and try to help and I just think it would be a nice read. I think it's probably as well going to be quite dark and emotional and there's but I think there's going to be a lot of friendship and family and it's going to be uplif uplifting as well as just darn depressing. But I know it has gotten a lot of attention even though it is quite a while ago since it was released but I'm just looking forward to reading it. Next up is a bit of a dystopia novel. It is Metro 2033 by Dimitri Gluskocci. It's a dystopia, so it's in the future, and there are just a few of the human race left, and they are they are hiding out in the metro underneath of Moscow. And I guess bad things are going to happen, and people are going to you know turn on each other, and perhaps there's some supernatural creatures. I don't know too much about this one, but it sounds like a pretty intense read. Uh, it sounds quite spooky as well, so I suppose it's going to be nice. And this might also be a bit more for rainy days, but I'm kind of feeling like reading it this summer, so we shall see. And then to something else a bit more sci-fi, it's... Stifters Trilogy. I don't know how to say it in English, but it's a trilogy about sci-fi by Isaac and Asimov. Asimov consists of three books, they are all kind of compiled together in this one uh, paperback and yeah it's set in the future I guess and it's supposed to be an iconic book so I wanted to read it. I think it's going to be good. Um, Sci-fi is not my favourite genre but I wanted to give this one a try as well so we'll see when I get through this one. Then I have something for a bit more of a rainy day kind of read and it is the Murders in Rue Morge and Other Stories by Edgar Allan Poe. Okay, Edgar Allan Poe is quite an iconic author. He is a classic one for the horror stories. And I haven't actually read anything by him. I read some short story in class, English class, a few months back. And I mean, I like it. I think they're spooky and they're kind of the right amount of spooky. They're not so you can't sleep, but they're still, you know, cozy at night. So I'm really hoping to get through this one during the year. Also, when the winter, when the weather is going quite bad in Sweden, I think this one is going to be a nice pick-me-up uh, on cold autumn nights. Both my parents are physicists, so of course they had some physic books. These are by Richard, Richard Feynman, and it is the six not-so-easy pieces and the Shirley or Joachim Mr. Feynman. Um, I know he's quite a 
you know, he's very popular author for popular science, so um, I really wanted to get to read some of his books because I kind of, I love science. You know, I want to be a scientist perhaps, so this seemed like nice reads. I also like physics and especially I like physics in space. So this one is supposed to be centered around special relativity, which I love. It's one of the more popular physical theories ever and to me it is just great because it's a bit easier than general relativity so I can kind of wrap my mind around my mind about it but it's still mind-blowing so this one is probably this one is the more scientific read of them but I think I'm looking forward to this one the most and then we have the Shirley Ryoku Mr. Feynman this is I think it's more of a like funny stories from his time as a lecturer but I think it's going to be quite educational as well and perhaps he will explain some physical things in this one. I've heard references to this book in some other of my books about uh, math and physics, uh, so I suppose it's time for me to read it and I'm actually looking forward to this, these two. Perhaps I will read them in the summer when I don't have you know, ordinary school so I'm not really bored with physics at all. And lastly I have kind of a deep book and it is The God of Little Things by Arunati Roy. Uh, it's about, I think it's about children in India during the 70s something and about the case system, how it affects them. That's basically all I know about those books. It doesn't have any like introduction on the cover so it's kind of a tease, you know, it's just a beautiful book. But I have seen this one on many lists that list, you know, best books from Asia and also the best books like ever and books that changed your life, you know, I've seen it all around so I thought you know what, I'm gonna read it and we shall see how it is. This is probably gonna be a book that is quite hard to read, I think it's going to be quite depressing, it's going to talk about very hard things and especially when it's about children, it's going to talk about things that you don't want to know. But it's still important that you read them, so I'm going to do it, I'm probably gonna cry, most likely I am going to cry. Unless it's like an uplifting book, I don't know, I don't know a lot about it, but it's supposed to be deep and beautiful and yeah that's all I have to say. I'm actually very interested in this one. I think it might be my like the, the book I mostly want to read in this TBR. That is all I want to read uh, from my parents bookshelf. I guess there are like tons and tons and tons of more books that I would like to get, go to read but these were the ones that actually caught my gaze first. Do you like to read books of your parents or maybe you give books to your children that you want them to read? Um, let me know what you, if you have any tips or if you have read any of these books and think I should or shouldn't read them. I hope I'll see you in the next one. 